Glory to God. I'm not, I, I feel like I don't want to sing this song because we, we, it had been moving along so in high service, but I feel like my daddy is like, I need thee, oh, I need thee every hour. I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to, to thee, I need thee, oh, I need thee every hour. I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come. To, I come to thee, yeah. Somebody help me sing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, tell God, yeah, yeah, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Listen, we have been having couples today, in as much as this follows Valentine's Day, we thought that we would have the couples, amen, be in charge of the service. And uh, right now, before I bring the speaker up this, this afternoon, I want us to just stand, if you will, and I want to pray for Minister Shandy, who is now in the hospital, glory to God, and uh, we need to pray for him. He's a hardworking young man, and even while in tremendous pain, he was just here, glory to God, Saturday working, amen, working and making sure that they fed the people in the community. And then went home, and shortly thereafter, he was in the hospital. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, we believe, how many believe God? Listen, I need to tell you this. That was almost unanimous. I said that was almost unanimous. I'm going to ask again. How many believe God? Lift your hand. Glory to God. That's it. And it's our faith that moves the mountains. We've been talking about faith for, glory to God, some months now, amen. And, and so I'm gonna ask you all, uh, if you would join us in a word of prayer for Minister Shandy, glory to God. Now, Father, here we stand in behalf of this, our brother, and not only he, God, but we stand on behalf of Sister Michaela Childs. We stand in behalf of all of those. I'm missing some names, but God, you know every one of them. You know, God, exactly where they are. You know what needs to be done. You know, in fact, God, you provided healing for them right now. And so, God, I ask you to go there to the hospital. Well, I take that back, God. You're already there. So, God, while you're at the hospital, move on the life of our brother, move in behalf and heal because you're Jehovah Rapha. You're the Lord God, our healer. Do that now. And God, we're going to give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. And the people of God said, amen. Amen. Come on, clap your hands if you believe your prayer. While you're standing, I'm going to ask you to receive Lady Simpkins as she comes, amen, and just shares with us a word from the Lord, amen. Hallelujah. You can take your seats, amen. Y'all know I spoke last week, right? 
but y'all know it's couples time, right? And I'm a couple, so I'm being obedient. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. God is so good. God is so good. Father God, we just thank you today. We just thank you for another opportunity to come before you, Lord, to lift up your name, to honor you, and to glorify you. Father God, we thank you for all that you're doing, all that you've done, and all that you're going to do, Lord. Lord, we look to you because you are the author and the finisher of our faith. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen, everybody. God bless everyone here today. Amen. I am so honored to come before you again. You know, last week I lost my voice, so let's just pray. I don't lose it today. Amen. I don't know. I'm running my mouth all week. I haven't had no problems. <laughs> so, so here I am. All right, here I am. so much. Nevertheless, we are talking about faith. Amen? Faith. And I we had it this morning and 8 o'clock service. It was so wonderful. The Burnets came this morning. His beautiful wife spoke this morning. God bless her. He did an awesome job. And then that husband came right behind her and he did an awesome job too. And I thank God for the both of them. So I'm going to give you the hors d'oeuvres today and I'm going to let my pastor Oh, no, my husband, come and give you your meal today. Amen. But today we are talking about faith. Hallelujah. Sister Bernard scared me this morning. She came up and she said, I'm going to go to chapter 11 and I'm going to do now faith. I said, no, you can't do my faith. That's, that's mine. <laughs> Hallelujah. And when I said it, she changed it immediately. I said, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. So now we are, be, we are going to go to he Hebrews. Amen. Chapter 11. And we are talking about faith today. And my question to you is, do you believe? Do you believe? I know we believe in a whole lot of things, but I'm not talking about a whole lot of things today. I'm talking about, do you believe in our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ? And then I want to know, do you believe that there is absolutely nothing too hard for him to do? Do you believe that? Do you really believe that? Oh, you know, he can't do that, and he can't do this, and Lord, I got to do this myself, and no, there is absolutely nothing God cannot do. When the door is closed, God can say not so, and open it up for you, amen? So trust God and believe in him. So chapter 11, verse 1, now faith Ooh, is the substance of things hoped for. And the evidence of things not seen. You can take your seat. That is now faith. Amen. There are two words that describe faith. And one is for sure. And the other one is certain. There are two words that describe faith. Amen. Should I repeat that for you? One is what? Ooh, and what is the other one? Yes, it is. Those are the two words that describe faith. And the, the beginning point of faith is to believe in God. Amen. Do we all believe in God? Amen. We don't have no doubt, right? We believe God, don't we? Oh, yes, we do believe God. Amen? He is, God is who he says he is. Ooh, I know y'all don't read the Bible because he tells us just who he is. And God can do exactly what he says he can do no doubt you believe it right i believe him and i can ask you why do you believe oh my lord i bet you all y'all got some evidence all y'all got some evidence what god can do don't you hallelujah everybody i can make a line right now y'all come around and give you evidence what the lord has done for you amen all right, believing in God's promise, he will do what he says he's going to do again, and then he will also fulfill his promises. Even though we don't see the promises manifesting, yet we believe and we trust in God's word. Hallelujah. God's word is powerful. Amen. The Bible says it's sharp as a two-edged sword. 
and I believe everything that's in this Bible. I might not understand it all, but I do believe it all. <laughs> Amen. God bless you all. Amen. All right. We be, okay, when we believe, we trust in God's word, and we demonstrate true faith. We believe who God is. Sometimes we have situations in our lives that we feel we cannot make it through. Sometimes things come upon us, and we feel like we cannot get through it. Oh, but when you fall on your knees, hallelujah, when you fall on your knees and you go to your Lord and Savior, he will turn it around for you. He will open up doors for you. He will make ways for you. You say, I did it. I ain't do nothing. All I did was call on Jesus. Amen. And then I, you might say, so-and-so and so don't like me, or so-and-so and so this or that or that. But when you think about it, all you got to do is pray about it. God has a way of touching people's hearts. God has a way of touching their minds. God has a way of putting them in order for you. So all you got to do is pray for them. Amen? Because that's the kind of God we serve. So when we want to trust, we can't put our trust in our money, not in our houses, none of that. We have to put our trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? All right. Now it says here, verse 3. It says that through faith, we understand that the world was framed by the word of God. So that thing which are, and so, I'm sorry, excuse me. It says here, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Mm. Now, y'all know in the beginning, God called the universe. Right? That's what the Bible tells us. We do believe the word of God, right? He called the universe into existence out of nothing. He declared that it would be, and it was. He declared that you would be, and you would be, and you would be, and it was. We're all here. Amen? God did it. Amen? Our faith in God, who created the entire universe by his word. God's word has awesome power when he speaks do you listen do you listen when he said don't do that don't you say that and then later on you say i wish i didn't say that i wish i didn't do that i wish i had listened to that small voice in my head trust god ladies and gentlemen he would not lead you astray. Amen. Amen. I'm almost done. All right now. <laughs> I'm going to verse 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. You got to believe to please your Lord and Savior. The Bible makes it so clear. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder. He is a rewarder, hallelujah, of them that diligently seek him. Oh, oh what a mighty God you say. Okay, you can say this. I need God for this. And I need for God for that. But I don't need God for this. I got news for you. You need God for everything. Amen. When God is in control, everything goes like he wanted to go. Sometimes you may have a certain way you want it to go, but God has another plan for you. And sometimes it comes very painful and aching that it didn't go the way you want it to go. But as you sit back, oh, I'm so glad it didn't happen that way because God has something better. Amen. So we got to listen to the word of God because he talks to us. Amen. Believing that God exists is the, is the beginning. It, it, okay, believing that God exists is, the, is beginning the evidence that the demons must believe to. Amen? Because you have something to fight the devil with when you trust God. Because you cannot do this alone. God is with you and he will help you. And you will wonder, how did I do that? How did I do it? God did it. God 
makes a way. All right. God will not settle for the mere of uh, uh, God will not settle for acknowledgement of his existence. He wants you to personally demonstrate your love for him. And how do we personally demonstrate our, lo our love for the Lord? What do we do to demonstrate our love for the Lord? How can you look at someone and say they really love the Lord? Well, they don't go to church. They don't pray. They got things that's coming all out their mouth that you can't believe. They're doing ungodly things. But those same people say that they love God. Amen? You're looking and you're watching. You can talk all you want to, but talking don't get you into heaven. The only way you can get there is by demonstrating and doing what the Lord has called you to do. Amen? And you may fool the people. You may fool me, but there's somebody you can't fool. Oh, my glory. There's somebody who know all your secrets. Mm, now, if, mm, can I be real here? Because some folks, when they know all your secrets, they don't like you no more. And they cast you out. You doing that? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Ooh, but hallelujah, we got a savior. We got a Lord. No matter what you're doing, he loves you. He will walk with you. He will talk with you through the mud, through the dirt. What you used to be, he can turn it around and make you what you should be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't get caught up in what you did last week and yesterday. Let's start today. Let's start today. And God can change you. God can make you new. Oh, glory to God. All you got to do is have faith. All you got to do is believe in him because he is. Hallelujah. He said in his word, he would never leave you or forsake you. Now, some folks may leave you and forsake you. <laughs> some folks who have told you that they love you to death and I'll never leave you, they're gone. But I tell you, God is still there. He's still there walking with you, talking with you, being with you, leading you, guiding you, changing you into what he wants you to be. Oh, glory. Oh, God. And you know, I can feel so good about it because he did it for me. I'm just going to tell you, when I was coming up, I thought I was a good girl, which I was. But, you know, I really didn't. Well, I had a nasty mouth. Thank you for delivering me from that. But I didn't drink. I didn't smoke. I didn't do a whole lot of things that I could have been doing. And then when it came today for my husband, he wanted to be saved. I said to my husband, what you, what you going to be saved from? Couldn't get it. Couldn't understand it until I got into this. My God, my God, my God. Until I got into the word of God. God's word is powerful, amen. We can't do absolutely nothing without him, amen. We think we can run on our own, but we can't. We have to trust God. We got to believe God. And as I always say, we just can't talk about this. I can tell you how I love God. And I can tell you what, I, what this and that and that. But if you don't see it in my actions. If I don't never come to church, if I don't never pray, if I'm mean and I'm nasty to you, but I'm talking about the Lord, you're going to doubt my salvation. But I want you to look at me and say, I know that woman believes in God. If I hurt your feelings, I don't want to say too bad and walk away. I want to look at you and say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Amen. Trust God, ladies and gentlemen. He is the only way that we can do what we can do. Amen? And when you get that power inside of you, I want to encourage you. I'm talking to me now to tell somebody. It is our obligation to tell others about the goodness of God. It is our obligation to share his word. How do you get like you get? How do you do like you do? Let's have Bible study. Invite them to Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Amen. God bless you. Hope you got something out of that. Trust God. Believe God. Because he's all we really have. God bless you all. And thank you for this time.
Stand on your feet. <laughs> First lady already ministered. There's really nothing else for me to say. Glory to God. Look at somebody and tell them I trust God. And you can see it in my life. How come all y'all didn't finish that sentence? Let me say it again. Tell somebody, trust. I trust God. And you will see it in my life. Okay, everybody can say that one. Glory to God. I trust God and you will see it in my life. Glory to God. Listen, what she said is important. We've got to come to a place of loving God so much so that it comes out of our life. It shows in the way we walk and talk and behave. Amen. Glory to God. And I want to say this just so all of you all can get this. Don't let the devil whip you with your past behavior. And he will if he can. He will wear you out with stuff that God has already forgiven you for. He'll keep you pressed down with stuff you know that you did in your past. But you know in your heart you said, God, I'm sorry. You know that you've turned and you're going in another direction and the devil wants to bring up your past. But I heard somebody say years ago, when the devil brings you your past, you give him his future. Glory to God. We're going to make mistakes, but don't live in them. You're going to stumble and fall, but don't stay down. You're going to make mistakes, but don't try and cover them. Ask God to forgive you. And then if necessary, go back and ask the person to forgive you. And it's best not to go back and say, if I hurt your feelings, you know you did. That's why you're coming back. So <laughs> go to them and say, I hurt your feelings and I'm sorry. And oftentimes people will say, no, it's all right. And you say, well, praise God. I needed to do that for both of us. And if I didn't do it for you, I did it for me. I need to be clear in my own spirit. If you're here today.